Okay, what do we have here today? Now, this video is for Boolicious. Okay, Boolicious, this is for you. Now, you asked me about Yoruba, I believe it was maybe three weeks ago. Two, was it two or three weeks ago? You asked me um, about Yoruba, you asked me if I stopped learning the language and what should you do since you've gotten this book. Uh, first of all, I didn't stop learning Yoruba. I've been doing a lot of passive learning for the language and some other things. So, um, okay, you said you have this book here. All right, this book is very good. Okay, now I also introduced this book in one of my other videos. I'm not sure if you have this one also, but that one is good. So, um, if you just have this book, you can, I mean, it's fine, you can get started on this one. And then I guess when you get finished, you can go back to this one as um, using this one as more of a um, comprehension. Okay, so you have colloquial Yoruba, and then you have beginner's Yoruba, and then I have this. You want to make sure you get this dictionary, this is very useful. Okay, so what should you do? So if you have this book here audio and everything you want to um, when it comes to listening you want to listen a lot to, to the to the language and listen to dialogues and when you go about doing that you should have a pad like this I like to use this type of pad for my uh, listening schedule you have Yoruba this is the language you'll be studying so what you should do is put parentheses like these I put one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six parentheses here. And normally what I like to do is fill them up. I try to get them to at least seven, get seven marks. So this will be for chapter one. All the dialogues in chapter one, you want to listen to those for at least 30 minutes to an hour. I think 30 minutes is enough, but if you want to do an hour, that's fine. So you do that. And then once you finish that, you put a mark here. That's mark one. And then tomorrow you do it again. You listen to that for 30 minutes, the whole chapter, chapter one, all dialogues, put another mark. So your goal is to get seven marks. Okay. And while you're listening to the dialogue, you should be following along and make sure you understand what's going on in dialogue as well. So you want to do that. So that's chapter one. And then once you get to chapter two, chapter two you're going to do the same thing. Seven marks. Chapter three, seven marks. Chapter four, seven marks. You're going to do that. So if you do this for a month, you will if if you do this for a month, you will have covered four chapters of listening. Okay? Four chapters. That takes a month. So yeah, you want to make sure you do that every day. Okay? So that's the listening part. Now, when you listen to these dialogues, you want to try to take this stuff like um whatever's introduced Whatever points introduced, you want to try to make sentences out of whatever is introduced in the dialogue, just to practice them. Okay? That way you can retain the information. So, if you go to, let's say here, let's go to the grammar section. They talk about tenses down here. Oops. They talk about tenses here. And you want to look at the look at those and see. I went to here they have. Let's see. I went. I went to Aid's house. I uh, Kunle saw him. I walked. So these are all tenses. Okay. Of course, these are past tense. So what you want to do is practice those. And get familiar with them. Make up your own sentences. It's very important. Now, how do you practice them with people? I found that Facebook is very good for finding native speakers. It's amazing. I found a lot of native Yoruba speakers over on Facebook. So just type in Yoruba or whatever it is, anything related to Yoruba, and you should see a lot of names pop up, and they will say if they're speaking Yoruba or Igbo or whatnot. They have a list in their profile, so you can do that. That's how I practice my Yoruba. Because I had a ch I had a chat room a long time ago, but it, it you know it seems that they closed it down, so I can no longer go there. But if you happen to find a good chat room, let me know, and I will go there. But for now, I'm using Facebook to practice this language. 
So that's what you need to do. You need to make sure you get all these resources. You have this already. Make sure you get a dictionary and follow the schedule of listening to that those dialogues. And then while you're doing that, you could take the stuff out, go to the grammar section, and just practice them. You make up your own sentences. They could be very basic at the beginning. Or you, maybe you have to look up some, something in the dictionary. That's fine. But the point is to become familiar with those constructions in that chapter while you're listening. Because that's the skeleton of building things. So that's what you need to do. That's my advice. So uh, let me know if you have any other questions. And um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for viewing.